Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at what's new in Oxygen 3.2. Oxygen 3.2 is a major release with a few quality of life improvements that have been highly requested by our users, as well as one new major element. First, let's take a look at some of the smaller changes that we've made. To start with, we've now included the free version five of Font Awesome as a built-in icon set in Oxygen. That means when you use the icon element in Oxygen and choose Font Awesome as your icon set, you're going to have a few new icons to choose from. Next is kind of an administrative change. So if we jump back here into the admin, we're going to go to Oxygen, Settings, and Security. Oxygen has a security feature that requires all short codes to be signed with a unique signature. Previously, when one of these signatures was wrong, the element wouldn't show up, but it would be replaced with a red warning box, which was shown on the front end of your site. Now, that behavior defaults to not showing the warning box on the front end of your site. Instead, you get a warning in the WordPress admin panel that something is wrong. But under Oxygen Settings Security, you can check this box, Show Invalid Short code signature warnings on the front end to return it to the previous behavior. This can be useful sometimes to track down exactly where the problem is. Now let's jump back over to Oxygen and get into some of the more exciting changes. So one of the changes we've made is we've added a new global setting for headings. So if we go to manage settings, global styles and headings, each heading H1 through H6 now has a line height setting. So let's select this heading and by default headings have a fairly large line height and often if you're picky about typography you're going to want to change this to something a little smaller so by making this one adjustment in global settings we've now adjusted all h1 elements to a line height of 1.2 you can set this for h1 through h6 or if you've set it only for h1 all of the smaller headings h2 through h6 will use the line height set for h1 so on and so forth it cascades down another setting we've added is also in the global styles so if we go back to the global styles menu here you'll see where previously we had a control set for page width it now says width and breakpoints so if we click in here we can change the page width still which we've always been able to do but we can also change the width of the tablet landscape and portrait breakpoints which are used over here in the screen size selector in the properties pane this allows you to have custom responsive breakpoints so if you don't like 992 pixels you can change it to whatever you'd like this has been requested by a lot of users and it gives you a lot more freedom in designing your site around the devices you anticipate your users using the most now for our final and most exciting feature we have added a new element to oxygen called the pro menu the pro menu is an extensive element that goes way above and beyond what our normal menu element has ever been capable of. In fact, the original menu element was quite limited, and that's why we spent a lot of time getting the pro menu element to the right balance of power and ease of use. So let's go ahead and drop one into this design here. So I'm gonna delete this old menu element here, and let's close the settings pane and go to add and go ahead and search for pro menu. You can also find the pro menu element under the add menu in the WordPress category. So as you can see, we've dropped a menu element in here. And as of right now, it's unstyled and looks rather unattractive. The pro menu element is all about building the menu you want. So we give you a ton of controls. Let's go through a few of those here. So we have the menu drop down, which lets you choose which menu from WordPress it's going to display. And we also have the mobile menu slash toggle below option. This determines at which breakpoint the menu is going to switch over to the mobile menu toggle, which should be familiar for anyone that's used our previous menu element. Now let's jump into the desktop menu settings. And these are going to be the settings that apply to the menu when it's in desktop mode. So we have orientation, horizontal, vertical, typography controls, spacing, align, and border controls, hover and active controls and then if we go to desktop drop downs we have enable or disable drop down which most folks are going to want to leave it enabled so it's enabled by default we have drop down border radius which controls corner rounding for the drop downs 
We have animation type, which allows us to set an animation for the drop downs when they appear. Uh, for the drop downs, we have box shadow, drop down icon, drop down colors, drop down child links. And let's go back and look at the mobile menu settings. So we have similar controls for the mobile menus, except for we now have open icon layout controls, which lets you set the open icon and icon text. So for example, if you wanted a uh, heart that says navigation to be present and trigger the mobile menu, you could set that up here. We have similar controls for the close icon, close icon typography. We also have menu styles here, which allow us to turn on the off canvas mode. So what this does is instead of a full screen mobile menu, it switches the mobile menu to an off canvas menu, which can be animated in from the left or right side using any of our animate on scroll animations. So let's jump back over here. And finally, we have typography controls for the mobile menu that let us change the typography when the menu is in mobile mode. Now, because this element is so extensive and there are a lot of controls to manipulate, we also added a presets feature to the pro menu. If we look down here at the bottom of the properties pane, we have a drop down that says use preset. The pro menu ships with a few presets, one of which actually matches the design set we're using. So we're going to grab the conference preset here. And as you can see, it's gone ahead and styled our menu element up. Now I want to move that over to row right. Perfect. And then from there, we can make further adjustments to this menu. But the bulk of our work is done. See, we have animated drop downs. We have animated drop down icons. We have a nice background gradient, a hover effect, and it's a very nice menu already but let's say we want to change the icon we can go to desktop drop downs drop down icon and we can change it to anything we'd like we can also adjust the size of the icon so i personally like slightly smaller icons for my drop downs and then we can add some space between the icon and the associated label. So let's save this and we'll just jump to the front end and check out what it looks like in action. So we have our little menu there. Uh, we can hover over it, click what we want. When we hover over the parent menu items, we have drop downs. And then we also support sub sub menus as well. So those are animated in as well. And they'll animate into either the right side or the left side of the parent sub menu, depending on whether we're too close to the right or left side of the screen. So you'll never have sub sub menus running off the screen and out of the viewport. But easily the best part of the pro menu element is its mobile features, which is where the original element really fell short for some users. Let's fire this up in an incognito window. So I'm going to fire up a new incognito window here and paste in that URL. And then we're going to resize our viewport to see what the mobile menu looks like. As you can see, the menu has converted to an icon and some text. And if we hover over it, the icon changes. This is all set with the pro menu elements styling options in the properties pane. And if we click this, we have an off canvas menu. The other great new feature of the mobile mode in the pro menu element is that we have toggleable drop downs. So if we click our little icon here, it's going to toggle the drop down menu. So no longer do you have to choose between not displaying any drop downs at all or displaying all of them all the time. Now we have nice toggle sub menus for the mobile menu. And another thing we can do here is we can actually set this off canvas menu to animate. So let's jump over here back to oxygen and we've got the pro menu selected. So we need to go back to mobile menu, menu styles, and where we've selected off canvas, we have the option to select some animation types. So we're going to choose a slide right to get it to slide in from the left side of the screen. And let's just increase the animation duration a bit. Now let's jump back over to our incognito window and let's refresh this page and click menu. Now you can see a nice smooth off canvas animation. So the pro menu element brings a lot to the table in the realm of designing custom menus that adapt between desktop and mobile viewport sizes. 
And remember, to achieve this, I had to make very few changes to the Pro Menu element because I used the Conference preset, which comes by default with Oxygen 3.2. So let's jump back over and look at the Presets feature a bit more in depth. So if we go back to the primary tab of the Properties pane for the Pro Menu element, and look at presets, we use the use preset dropdown to go ahead and set this pro menu to a different style. And you can see here in this list, we've got quite a few that give you a good starting point. But below that, we have some more controls. So we can delete a preset from our install if we've created one. We can export a preset. So for instance, let's say we've made some adjustments to the conference preset and we wanna save it. So we'll call this conference two and we'll save that and now that shows up in our list and we can select it perfect now we're using this new preset we created but let's say we want to use it on another site we're building or we want to share it with somebody so we can actually export the preset here and it's a string it's a pretty big string because it has all the settings but we can copy that to the clipboard and then we can close this out and on our new install or somebody we've shared that string with can go to import, paste in the string, click OK, and it will import the conference to preset, which they can then use. Another thing we've added as part of the presets feature is if you don't like what you've done, you can click clear current styles and it's going to delete all of the styles and take the element back to baseline. So for instance, we assigned all these styles on the ID of this pro menu element, but let's say we want a pro menu class for some reason. We've cleared the styles. Previous to that, we saved our styles as a preset. Uh, let's add a class called pro menu. And then we can apply those styles that we previously had on the ID to the class instead. So for the pro menu element, that makes switching from ID to class styles very easy and very intuitive. Aside from these new features, Oxygen 3.2 also includes a bunch of bug fixes, stability fixes, and overall tweaks and improvements. You can check out the blog post for a full change log. Again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's what's new in Oxygen 3.2. Thank you very much for watching.